Math 5 Quarter 3 Week 4 Milk Base Let's learn about Identifying terms related to a circle and drawing circles with different radii using a compass. Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Math 5, we will discuss about identifying terms related to a circle and drawing circles with different radii using a compass. For most essential learning competencies, identifies the terms related to a circle and draw circles with different radii using a compass. Circles are everywhere. Some of the real-world examples of circle-shaped objects are the sides around the following. The wheel of a bicycle. Coin. Dinner plate. Wall clock. And Ferris wheel. Therefore, a circle is an important shape in the field of geometry. A circle is a round-shaped figure that has no corners or edges. In geometry, a circle can be defined as close two-dimensional curved shape. A circle is a basic 2D shape which is measured in terms of its radius. The different parts of a circle are explained below in detail. A circle is the set of all points in a plane with the same distance from a certain point. This point is called the center of the circle. A is the center and the name of the circle is Circle A. Chord is a line segment joining two points on the circle. In circle A, segments CE and BG are chords. Another part of a circle is a diameter. Diameter is a chord that connects two points on the circle. Every diameter is a chord. In circle A, segment BF is a diameter. The diameter goes straight across the circle through the center. Another part of a circle is the radius. Radius is a line segment from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. The radius of a circle is one half the diameter. In circle A, segment AB, AF, AD, and AH are radii. Another part of a circle is the central angle. Central angle is an angle formed by two radii. In circle A, angle BAD, angle BAH, and angle HAF are central angles. Another part of a circle is the inscribed angle. Inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex is on the circle. In circle A, angle FBG, is an inscribed angle. Another part is the circumference. The circumference is the distance once around the circle. What do the following objects have in common? If you are asked to draw them perfectly, how will you do it? Like the wheel, symbols, one peso coin, eyeballs, and manholes. Using your bare hands will not guarantee that you will be able to draw a perfect circle. In drawing a circle, we need a compass. A compass is an instrument used in drawing circles. 
Here are the steps in drawing circles using a compass. First, insert a sharp pencil into the holder of the compass. Second, open the compass to the radius desired for your circle. The radius is the distance from the center point of the circle to the outer edge. Third, place the compass point on a piece of paper where you would like the center point of the circle to be. Fourth, place the point of the pencil on the paper. Fifth, rotate the compass to mark a circle on the paper with the pencil. Draw without lifting the point of the compass of the paper. And now let us do learning task 1. The figure at the right is a circle with center at M. Name the following. Number 1. Center. What is the name of the center? Very good. It is M. Number 2. There are 4 radii. What are those radii? Very good. These are segment MI, segment MA, segment MH, and segment MT. Number 3. What is the diameter? Very good. The diameter is segment IH. Number 4. At least two central angles. What are those? Very good. These are angle IMA and angle AMT. Number 5. Inscribe angle. Very good. Angle HIE. And number 6. Two chords. The two chords are segment CT and segment IE. Learning task 2. Construct a circle with a radius of 6 cm. The steps are, first, name the center of the circle point A. Second, using a ruler, draw line segment BC whose end points are on the circle passing through the center. Third, draw another line segment DE whose end points are on the circle and passing through the center again. Fourth, construct two segments whose one point is the center A and the other point is on the circle. And fifth, name the segment as AF and AG. For learning task 3, write true if the statement is correct. If not, false. Number 1. The diameter of the circle is twice the length of the radius. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is true. Number 2. The longest chord in a circle is the diameter. Is it true or false? Very good. The correct answer is true. Number 3. If a radius measures 12 cm, then the measures of the diameter is 6 cm. Is it true or false? Very good. The correct answer is false. Number 4. The length of every chord in a circle is always greater than the length of a radius. Is it true or false? Very good. The correct answer is false. Number 5. The vertex of the central angle is the center of the circle. Is it true or false? Very good. The correct answer is true. Number 6. The vertex of an inscribed angle is any point inside the circle. Is it true or false? Very good. The correct answer is false. Number 7. We can draw circles with different sizes but the same center. Is it true or false? Very good. The correct answer is true. Number 8. A line and a circle can intersect in just one point. Is it true or false? 
Very good! The correct answer is true. Number 9. Every diameter intersects the circle in exactly two points. Is it true or false? Very good! The correct answer is false. And number 10, a circle is labeled by its center point. Is it true or false? Very good! The correct answer is true. For learning task 4, use a compass to draw a circle of radius 4 cm. Follow the three easy steps. Step 1. Use a ruler to set the distance from the point of the compass to the pencil's lead at 4 cm. Step 2. Place the point of the compass at the center of the circle. And step 3. Draw the circle by turning the compass through 360 degrees. For learning task 5, identify each element. Number 1. This is Circle C. The diameter of Circle C is Segment DB. And the radius are Segment CD, Segment CA, and segment CB. Number 2. This is circle O. The central angle is segment POL and segment YOL. The radius are segment OP, segment OL, and segment OY. And for number 3, this is circle A. The inscribed angle is segment ICS and the radius are segment AD, segment AC, and segment AI. And now for learning task 6, letter A, construct a circle using a compass. Number 1, radius is 10 cm. Number 2, with center O. Number 3, with radii OP and OQ. Number 4, with diameter PQ. And number 5, with chord PR. And for the last activity, letter B, follow these instructions to draw the beautiful pattern shown above. So here is the pattern. Here are the steps. First, Make sure your pencil is sharp, then place it in the compass. Second, set the radius to 4 cm. Draw a circle at the center of your page. Important, your radius must stay the same for the whole activity. Third, put your compass point anywhere on the circle edge. Draw another circle. This circle should pass through the center of your first circle. They have the same radius. Fourth, your second circle cuts the first circle at two points. Choose one of these points. Place your compass point at this point. Draw another circle of radius 4 cm. Fifth, repeat step 3 with your third circle, fourth circle, etc. You should end up with six circles on your first circle. That is 7 circles in total. And 6, decorate it as you please. You can decorate your pattern further by adding more circles or joining points with straight line and so on. See what patterns and shapes you can discover among all the circles. And we have here the rubric. Check the column for excellent, 3 satisfactory, 2 good, 1 needs improvement. On task, if you use your time well, and focus on task. For composition, if the art elements are balanced and work well together. For your creativity, your work is unique and shows your own ideas. And you are creative. And for the work quality, your art is carefully made and paid attention to details. So kids, do you understand our lesson today? 
Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!